Hello, everyone, and welcome to another webinar brought to you by Rasley Security. I'm Ellie Spitz, Vice President of Business Development at Rasley, and in this webinar entitled Find the Culprit in Five Minutes or Less, we'll show you how you can use the iSecurity business intelligence capabilities to analyze even 500 million system journal entries. That's right, half a billion QA journal events to find the bad guy, to set up an automatic detection rule so that the next time they commit a foul, they're caught. And all this in five minutes or less. So let's look here at the IBM GUI interface. Here on the left, we're looking at the navigation tree of all the iSecurity GUI capabilities. And here we can see the iSecurity visualizer, which, as you can see here, is now showing 534 million uh, QAnon journal entries in a statistical data warehouse, which is which we can look at via date, system, job, user, IP address, program, entry type, or subtype. So let's begin. We've got 534 million QAnon journal records. Let's choose from. Uh, the records which were written in the last couple of days. And let's look at some interesting IP addresses. Notice that this list of IP addresses can be sorted by IP or by quantity. And at this point, let's look at these IP addresses, which are real IP addresses. Let's look at the users. For example, this user, this, and this user. Let's look at entry type, for example, object, move, or rename. And then let's look at subtype, an object was moved to a different library. So if you notice, we began here with 534 million records, and now we're down to four records, which answer to the criteria of having been written in the last few days from these IP addresses and by these users. So. What I'm going to do now is for these four records, which answer to all these criteria, I'm going to drill to the data. In other words, I'm going now to reference the Q order journal records themselves. We see these four events. Any particular event, I can look at the, easily look at the content and see exactly the program, the job, message, the objects, etc., uh, that caused this event to be written. From here, I can create a detection rule. I want to create a detection rule so the next time this event occurs with certain parameters, we'll capture the event and send an email. What I do here is I, from the object move or rename a rule, uh, let's perform an action. The action that we're going to look for is going to be called bi for i. This is an action which sends an email automatically. Let's look at uh, an event which occurs outside of working hours, where working hours, for example, is defined as being, in this case, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. That could be changed, obviously. Okay. Um, let's now, one more time, let's look at working hours. There you go. Let's now uh, look for our filter conditions, and we're going to choose the user profile, which is OD, as we said earlier. The entry type is M for an object which has been moved. The object type can be asterisk menu, for example. And if this is all we need, that's fine. Perhaps we want to change the user profile name so that it doesn't necessarily equal OD, but it begins with OD. Okay, so we can do that as well. Let's now go to the next screen. And here we can set up the message to be sent via email, job, replacement job. This will re be replaced at the time of execution. Uh, the object, the object, let's look at replacement fields. So we're talking about um, a particular let's say, old object name, if that's, what, uh, if, that, if that's what interests us, let's do an OK. Let's change this to old object name, for example. 
and you know we can add more information here perhaps who are interested in knowing uh, the date and time of this occurrence when it actually happens we've got that replacement variable here if we do a next we can write here a free format explanation and when we're done this rule has now been added to the rules which will be uh, which will be searched when new Q order journal records are written and if the criteria is is uh, is matched, then an email will automatically be sent. So we have indeed shown you how, beginning with many hundreds of millions of system journal entries, we can filter that down to easily find the bad guy, set up the automatic detection rule, and all this in a very, very limited amount of time. Thank you for your participation. You can visit us at www.rasley.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.